pretty serious stuff there, especially when you're considering a blizzard in the mm -hmm. L.A. area. It's exactly right. It's like that's just wow. the kind of stuff you don't ever hear about ever. Uh, it's it's wild weather across yeah. the country. And I mean, we've got this big cool down as well. Fortunately, it's not coming with any winter precip, but we do have some rain in the forecast and the possibility of some severe weather heading into Sunday. So you can tell we're getting a little bit closer to springtime, right? 51 at DFW right now. Arlington is sitting at 54. You compare that to Bowie in the upper 40. Sherman and Bonham also sitting at 48. And then you've got Corsicana at 63. Athens at 64. And Palestine sitting at 73 degrees. That's five degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday in Palestine. Most of us are dealing with a 25 to nearly 30 degree cool down. This is a big change. Hopefully you're prepared for it heading out the door this morning and uh, for this afternoon and evening as well. You will want to be bundled up heading into tomorrow. I was going to try and show you Clyde Warren Park. There you go. It looks beautiful out right now. It's just chilly. 55 degrees, a north wind at 12 miles an hour. Maybe not quite as bundled up as I wish they would be <laughs> those walking in Clyde Warren Park right now. But next few hours, we've got partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the upper 40s, even for those spots in the Metroplex that are sitting in the 50s right now, upper 40s by 7 o'clock tonight uh, with a wind out of the north northeast at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. But look at tomorrow. I've adjusted the forecast a little bit, so pay attention. I think we're going to have some spots in the upper 30s tomorrow morning. Low 40s expected. It's cloudy. We still have a north wind. And then into the afternoon, getting into the mid 40s. So this is a little bit of a change, but the models have been coming in a little cooler, uh, and they've certainly been a little bit cooler this afternoon as well. Notice the rain chances only at about 20 to 30 percent. I would say if you have plans for tomorrow night, you're going to want to maybe at least have a, a raincoat on, and you'll probably want the layers anyway with temperatures in the 40s. Once we get to Saturday, we at least see the temperatures warming back up into the mid 50s. We've got some scattered showers in the morning. I think the afternoon is okay. It'll be cloudy, still below normal, and that all changes into Sunday. Back to well above normal. Upper 70s, mostly cloudy, very windy. Isolated showers during the day, but the rain and storm chances pick up into the evening. And there is the threat for severe weather. So we are likely going to call a first alert weather day for Sunday night. This is going to be overnight. Hopefully most of you sleep through this. But we're expecting severe weather in parts of the Panhandle up into Oklahoma. And some of these storms could be strong as they roll through North Texas overnight. So remember, most of the day on Sunday, it's just isolated showers. This coverage looks a little bit higher than what I'm expecting. But it's really, here we are at midnight. Cold front is moving through. This is when I think we could have some strong to severe storms, but it moves through so quickly. By Monday, 6 45, 7 o'clock, it's sunny. And then into the afternoon, we've got temperatures that'll be in the mid 70s. And next week really should be nice with 70s, even to start March 1st, a high of 77 degrees, guys.